going to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the SNES 9X and Super Nintendo emulator. Go ahead and click Windows and go on down to Nintendo SNES. Click on it. Scroll down and you can click the picture, the text, or the download now button. I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version. Once done downloading, go ahead and close out of Firefox. Open the folder we saved it to. Right click, extract here with WinRAR. And then we'll run the exe file. First, we'll go ahead and set the video options to make it the resolution I want. Just go to video window size four times. Reposition it real quick. Then you can go to file. You can load your game. It shows you a list of recent games if you have played any. You can choose your save slot and load slot position. Um, you can save screenshot. Emulation. You can pause. Tell to pause when the window is inactive. If you're clicked on a different window, your browser or whatever. Input. You can use joypad, mouse, super scope, all sorts of different cool things. Go ahead and go to input configuration. You can use your keyboard or gamepad, whatever you want here. I like how it has a picture of the Super Nintendo controller so you can compare it with what your controller is, the layout, and the buttons. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and close out of that. For sound, you can set your um, kilohertz frequency rate, buffer length, channels, 16-bit sound, all that cool stuff. For video, you can hide the menu bar, go to full screen. You've already seen the window size. We'll go to display configuration. You can set your output method. I'm just going to leave it for default for mine. Your image processing, these are filters. Wow, they have a ton of filters. Pretty cool. I'm going to use this bold one here. And then you can set your full screen resolution settings. So I'm not going to go to full screen, so I'm not going to worry about cheats. If you want to make games easier, set that. Net play, you can connect to servers. You can play online with your friends. Go to help about real quick. You can see what version it runs. It's version 1.53 for Windows. That's about it. Now you can go ahead and go to file and load your ROM, and you're good to go. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com. We do not host any ROMs. We only host emulators. I suggest just doing a Google search if you're looking for them. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave us a comment.